Folk Hero is born in Chapel Hill. Gio Bernard, a touchdown on a punt return in the final seconds to lead North Carolina over North Carolina State in that huge rivalry game. 43-35 the final. With Riley Skinner and Dorsey Levins, I'm Jeff Fischel. Okay, Dorsey, break down the punt return for the score. What a big play by Gio Bernard with the game on the line. Only 30 seconds left. Let's break it down. Let's take a look at the guy at the bottom of the screen. He's going to make kind of a half-hearted attempt to block the punt. Then he's going to peel off, and he's going to be the last guy in the bottom of the wall. And all he has to do is wait for Gio to make the first guy miss, get to the wall, and then he's going to do make a key block like so many other guys did. But let the tape throw. Once Gio makes this guy miss, he gets to the wall. He's got blockers in front of him. And he's such a dynamic player. He's so explosive. He's so fast. Once he gets down the sideline, as you can see, not many people are going to catch him. I will say this, the skill set of Giovanni Bernard is by far better than anybody on this field and he showed it here. He's the most explosive player in football pads. I think he's the fastest player in the ACC and what a huge play. Like you said, Doris, when they need a big play, who do they call? Mr. Gio Bernard. And it wasn't just a punt return, over 300 all-purpose yards. He was doing everything for this team. I mean, that's what makes him so good. I mean, he had, you know, 95 reception yards. He had over 130 rushing yards, 300 all-purpose yards. There's nothing that this guy doesn't do. Yeah, he really is the catalyst of this football team. You know, we talked about it earlier when he missed a couple of games. They didn't play as well. In this game, they came out the gate pretty strong. 25 points in the first quarter, 18 in the fourth quarter. But then in the middle, there was nothing. Gio got nicked up in the middle. And when he's not playing at his best, I think it kind of trickles down to the rest of the team. He's the most important guy on this football team. He's the leader. It overshadowed, Riley, a great game from Mike Glennon. A career high in passing yards, five touchdown passes. Well, Mike Glennon, I mean, the big play was the story of the day for Mike Glennon in this NC State offense. And I will say this, he got a little bit of help from the North Carolina defensive back. But look at the arm here by Mike Glennon, setting up outside the pocket and find Tobias Palmer wide open in the middle of the field. Let me sit. look at what the safety does. You see the safety at the top of the screen. He eyes the out route by the tight end and bites. Both the corner and the safety bite. Nobody within 25 yards almost of Tobias Palmer. I hope he can make that throw and catch. But again, one other thing, the offensive line for NC State, notice the pocket. Not anybody within three to four yards. Mike Glennon, he was able to scan the field and set his feet all day long, finding his man Brian Underwood, a touchdown in every game this year. He's been incredible. I was really impressed by Mike Glennon today. But again, look at the safety. The safety is two on one. There shouldn't be open. Safety eyes the backfield, doesn't get out of his back pedal, and allows the receiver to get over the top for another big touchdown. So again, Big plays by North Carolina State, but they weren't able to finish it out. With the win, North Carolina stops a five-game losing streak to North Carolina State. This is huge for first-year coach Larry Fedora. It really is, and, he, and I think the key thing here is that he's got the guys to buy him because we talked about it time and time again. These guys have nothing to play for. We thought possibly after losing to Duke last week, they kind of lay down, uh, but this was their Super Bowl. They talked about this is a big game. They came to play, and I think it speaks volumes to what Lori, uh, Larry Fedora is teaching these guys and that they're actually buying in. They truly did buy in 18 nothing, outscoring NC State in the fourth quarter. With Riley Skinner and Dorsey Levins, I'm Jeff Michelle. You're watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.